So, the latest accusation against Israel is that it killed over 40,000 people in Gaza. The media reports that the death toll in Gaza just surpassed 40,000 and that it's Israel's fault. Let's talk about it. go again. Israel is being accused of indiscriminately targeting civilians in Gaza. But let's cut through the noise and look at the facts. Israel has actually achieved a one-to-one -one combatant to civilian casualty ratio, the lowest ever recorded in urban warfare. It's actually so low that militaries in the future are going to study and learn how Israel managed to achieve that. Think about it. In a densely populated area, of over 2 million people, where Hamas terrorists hide behind women and children. Israel is doing everything possible to avoid civilian casualties because every innocent life lost is a tragedy and no one in Israel is celebrating that. But to Hamas, civilian casualties are not just a byproduct, they are a strategy. Let's take a lesson from history. When the Allied forces were fighting the Nazis during World War II, they had one goal, victory over evil. Civilian casualties were an unfortunate part of that brutal reality. Look at what happened in Dresden when the Allied forces bombarded the city. 25,000 civilians killed. The Nazis tried to twist the narrative and inflate that number to 500,000 to win global sympathy. Sounds familiar? This is exactly what Hamas is doing today. They exaggerate the numbers count terrorists as civilians, and even include those they have killed themselves, whether it's from their own misfired rockets or executions of Palestinians who try to get to humanitarian aid. This is a disaster that Hamas has created. Israel is not here to apologize for defending its people. We did not start this war. We didn't kidnap over 200 civilians, including women and children. Hamas did. They have been firing rockets indiscriminately at Israeli towns and cities for years, using civilians as human shields while targeting innocent people. And now that they're losing on the battlefield, their last resort is to manipulate public opinion. They, they know that in the court of international opinion, perception can be as powerful as any other weapon. So they play the victim, exaggerating casualties and exploiting the media's hunger for sensational stories. Let's be crystal clear here. Israel is not a weak country, but that doesn't make Israel the aggressor. Strength does not equate to guilt. Israel is strong because it has to be. It's surrounded by enemies who want nothing less than its destruction. But just because Israel is strong doesn't mean it's wrong. And on the flip side, just because Hamas is losing doesn't make them the victim. This is a terrorist organization that glorifies death, indoctrinates children to become martyrs, and has openly stated its goal of wiping Israel off the map. They are not freedom fighters. They are not a legitimate government. They are a death cult hiding behind civilians, and Israel has nothing to apologize for in defending itself against such an enemy. To everyone watching this, I have a message. Do not apologize. Israel is defending not just its own people, but the values that all democracies hold dear. Life, freedom, and the rule of law. And yet somehow Israel is the one being criticized, the one being accused. It's outrageous. The world should be uniting against Hamas's tactics, not condemning Israel for protecting its citizens. And yes, let me clarify, every civilian casualty is a tragedy. I, as an Israeli, do not like when Palestinian civilians are killed as much as I don't like when my own people are killed. But let's not forget who is truly responsible for these deaths. Hamas is the one putting civilians in harm's way, using them as human shields, and then turning around and pointing the finger at Israel. It's a disgusting tactic, and it's time the world stops falling for it. So I call on all democracies around the world, stand with Israel, do not fall for Hamas's cheap propaganda. Do not let them twist the narrative. Support the one democracy in the Middle East that upholds the same values you do. 
Israel is not the aggressor here. It's the front line in the fight against terror. And in that fight, Israel deserves not just our sympathy, but our unwavering support. Israel isn't just defending itself, Israel is defending the principles that make free society strong. The principles of freedom, justice, peace, sanctity of life. So don't apologize, stand firm, stand with Israel.